Flagging can help you maintain position and help you reach holds that may have seemed impossible before. Unfortunately, a lot of climbers make these same six mistakes when it comes to flagging, myself included. And these mistakes can make it so that you don't reach the next hold or that that movement seems practically impossible. In this video, I'm going to walk you through those six common mistakes as well as ways to fix them. Let's get started with mistake number one. And this mistake is something that I see with both experienced and non-experienced climbers. That is not flagging hard enough. When it comes to flagging, the whole purpose is to counterbalance your weight. But if you're only sticking your leg out a little ways, that movement is going to be a lot harder compared to if you stick your leg out the same proportion or the same amount as you would be reaching. So if you're reaching out at a 105 degree angle, then your flag should be at a 105 degree angle as well. Now this can be difficult to recognize, but you could enlist the help of a friend or just consider taking a moment while you're practicing flagging. So not working on your hardest route, but you're practicing flagging. Am I flagging the appropriate amount for that reach? And then make corrections as needed. If you're not sure, flag harder. Mistake number two is using the wrong flag. Now there are three main types of flags. The one that I use the most is called a side flag and you have your foot on the opposite side of the way you're reaching. So if you're reaching with your left hand, your right foot is the one flagging out. Now with this flag, it's most ideal if you have good hand holds and your body position, the way the wall is holding, you're able to keep your hips close. The next most common flag type is a back flag. Now in this case, as you can see, when I use my back flag, I actually can't reach as far with my left hand. So in this situation, it's actually best if I can put my left foot on the hold and then flag out with my right and do a side flag. Now the third flag is a little bit less common, but I actually know a climber that uses it quite frequently and it's called an inside flag. The most common use for an inside flag is when you're really trying to get your hip close to the wall, but you're finding it difficult because it's such an overhang angle. So in this case, using an inside flag does the same thing as a back flag and it actually makes it pretty difficult for me to get my body closer to the hole. When you are coming up and you're noticing, oh my goodness, I feel like a flag is making it worse, you're probably using the wrong flag. At that point, consider where your hand holds are, where your foot holds are, and where your body position needs to be. Mistake number three is not pressing like and subscribe on this video. I, I'm just kidding. There actually is a mistake number three, but for real, if you haven't liked this video and if you don't like it, like thumbs down, that's fine. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube recognizes you like these kind of videos and they can recommend more videos in your recommendation feed. Those videos won't necessarily be coming from me. They'll be from other climbers as well that do videos like this. But if you do see a video from me, be sure to click on it and watch it because I'm sure if you like this one, you're gonna like those ones too. Okay, back to actual mistake number three. Mistake number three, and this is one that I am really focusing on right now, and that's actually pushing with your flagging foot. Now it can be really easy for you to just stick your leg out, but actually you can use that foot to smear against the wall and give you additional leverage. This additional leverage will make it much easier to reach far away holds, especially if it takes some momentum to get to them. So the easy fix on this is place your toe against the wall and use it to push off when you're trying to get to the next hold. Mistake number four is maintaining bent arms. I was actually really surprised when I saw how frequently this was happening with beginner climbers who are just getting into flagging. One of the best things about flagging is it makes it much easier for you to use straight arms, which using straight arms makes it so that you can serve energy and you can last a lot longer, which is super important on powerful climbs. So make sure that you are keeping your arms as straight as possible. Not only will this make it so you use less energy, but it's also going to make it a lot easier to reach holds that if you're in a locked position, you don't have as much movement. Whereas when you have an arm that's straight out, you have a ton more movement and a lot more space that you can do. So make sure you're using straight arms when you're flagging. 
Mistake number five is using a flag when it's really not the most efficient move or not flagging when flagging would be significantly more efficient. And this is something that you get into the harder the grades are in the climb. You're going to want to be as efficient as possible so that you have the strength to finish. When it comes to easier climbs, they'll put a ton of footholds there and it may be tempting to put your feet on them, but in reality, you're likely going to conserve a lot of energy if you flag instead. Mistake number six. This is one that I really need you to listen to because if you're making this mistake, it is going to be significantly detrimental to you when you're on overhang climb. And that is your hips are too far away from the wall. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you may know the trick where you need to get your hips as close to the wall as possible on overhangs. The reason for this is because the closer you are to the wall, the further you can reach. If you're flagging and it's causing you to stick your hips out, then you should really consider either changing the flag you're doing or pull your body in. Now that you know these mistakes, go out and fix them. And if you have any recommendations, for flagging, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you want to see other mistakes that you may be making in climbing, check out this playlist. Some of the videos I made, some of the videos are from other climbers that have done a great job of explaining those mistakes so you can make sure that you're avoiding them. So click on this video, that way they can start auto-playing for you on YouTube.